welcome back students in our this session and this is your assignment one of the new chapter photosynthesis and this is the second chapter for the half yearly term as you know the syllabus i have already given you the first chapter is kingdom classification both plant as well as animal kingdom is there in half yearlies and the second chapter is photosynthesis so here we start this chapter now children as you all know that photosynthesis is made from the two words photo plus synthesis now photo means light and synthesis means to combine now all living things they need energy to live and this energy comes from food this we all know that we need all the living things we need energy to live and this energy we get only from the food now plants get their energy in different way they use a process called photosynthesis now the plants they use the process of photosynthesis for converting the energy and for making the food for themselves now plain plants take water from the soil through their veins which are called xylem this you already have done in tissue chapters that the plants they take in water from the soil with the help of the veins and these veins are known as xylem the water goes to the leaves the leaves takes carbon dioxide from the air into the plant the carbon dioxide mixes with water and energy from the sun helps this process and this result in the formation of simple carbohydrate and it is also known as a type of a sugar and known as glucose now this glucose is a plant for the food and it gives the plants energy to grow also so here is an introduction for the chapter photosynthesis now we read some new words and these new words you have to write in your biology copy also now the first word is destarching destarching means the removal of a starch from the plant next is translocation translocation means transportation of organic food from the leaves to other parts of the plant through phloem then photosynthesis as you all know that this is the process of making the food for the green plants the process by which the green plants make their own food from carbon dioxide and water by using energy from the sunlight and in the presence of chlorophyll now chloroplast they are the organelles in the cells of green plants which contain chlorophyll and where photosynthesis takes place then stomata these are the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves of the plants and they are responsible for the exchange of gases then thylakoids the structural units of chloroplast made up of membranes which contain the pigment chlorophyll then grana they are the stacks of thylakoids and are called grana so these are few new words for you all so you have to learn these words and you have to write in your biology copy now we start with the chapter the term photosynthesis was first used in 1898 by barnes photosynthesis is the most common method of synthesis of food which is done by all green plants this we all know that this photosynthesis it takes place only in the green plants now the nutrition in plants green plants manufacture their own food by the process of photosynthesis and as i told you that photo means light and synthesis means to make or combine now in this process plants use carbon dioxide and water as the raw material the green pigment present in the cells of a leaf is known as chlorophyll this you also know that the pigment the green pigment which is present in the plants in the leaves is known as chlorophyll which captures the energy from the sunlight and it prepares food by a series of complex reactions now in this way the green plants they prepare their food 
now we come to the process of photosynthesis and it's important also it is a process by which green plants make their own food with the help of carbon dioxide water and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight sunlight is also very very important without this this process is incomplete now here is an equation that carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it makes glucose and oxygen now the process can be represented by a equation you can see here a chemical equation also there that 6 co2 that is 6 molecules of carbon dioxide plus 12 molecules of water gives out carbohydrates that is glucose c6 h12o6 plus 6 molecules of oxygen and 6 molecules of water now you can see here the process of photosynthesis that the green plants they get water from the soil with the help of the roots and from there it starts making food in the presence of sunlight and it takes carbon dioxide from the air and the chlorophyll which is present inside the leaf with the help of all these things they can able to prepare the food now the main events that occur during the process of photosynthesis can be summarized as number one absorption of light energy by chlorophyll molecule these are the main events that occurs during the process of photosynthesis second is conversion of light energy to chemical energy as you can see that it takes the light energy from the sun and it changes that light energy into the chemical energy by making the food for the plant then third is the splitting of water molecules with formation of hydrogen and oxygen then conversion of carbon dioxide into glucose now these are the main events that occur during the process of the photosynthesis now plants utilize carbon dioxide released by animals and convert it into useful oxygen which is again used by animals during respiration thus you all know that the plants they utilize they release the carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide they take it by animals and it, they convert it into useful oxygen and again this is very necessary for the respiration now we see the fact file now plants take minerals from the soil to grow nitrogen helps them to grow and make leaves phosphorus helps to, helps to grow strong roots potassium helps the plant to make fruit and also keeps them healthy these are certain minerals which the plants take from the soil and these are responsible for different things as nitrogen is responsible for growing the leaves phosphorus it helps in growing the strong roots potassium it helps the plants to make fruit and keep them healthy second is plants need large amounts of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium the soil does not always have enough of these nutrients now as a result because of this that the soil does not have all these nutrients sometimes the farmers they give the fertilizers as well as the urea also in their fields next is gardeners use fertilizers to give plants more nutrients and fertilizers are like salt of vitamins for plants some fertilizers are made from chemicals others are made from natural things like cow manure now these fertilizers they give the essential nutrients for the growth of the plants the food prepared by green leaves of a plant is in the form of a simple sugar called glucose the extra glucose is changed into another food called starch and starch is what it is the stored it is stored in the leaves of the plants only now this is all about this session soon i upload the next video for you all thank you